I am about to start working on my next project, which is Simplicity 9373. I want to make view C because I really like the sleeves. Let me show you here. It's a little, little bit bigger. I like the sleeves in this one. And I noticed that this view does not have any pockets. It does have bands around the sleeve area. And then this is the back. It calls for buttons. I went to Joann's and I picked up these buttons here. I couldn't find any royal blue because my fabric is this royal blue fabric that I also purchased from Joann's a while ago. And I've just been holding on to it. What I think I'm going to do because the buttons that I picked up are black I thought maybe I would go through my scrap bin and see what other fabric that I had that I can get to kind of pull the black buttons in. So I had this leftover faux leather knit. I'm going to share with you how I plan to add this to this cardigan. So the idea that I have is to take the pocket and right here where it goes across horizontally, I was thinking I can use the black faux leather to go across this section right in there. And then that will pull everything together. And so what I did was I took a piece of tracing paper and I cannot draw at all, but I put the tracing paper on top of view B and then I traced it out like this. And I colored it in, the royal blue color and then the black buttons and then the black where I want to place it on the pockets. I colored that in and I thought, okay, I think that will work. Then I started looking at the picture and I thought, since the view I want to make has a different sleeve band on the end, I thought, Maybe if there was a little black here also, that that would also kind of help, you know, make everything look cohesive. So I went back to my fabric stash and then I found this little piece of scrap. It's something that I think I used for a lining in a different garment, but I think it will work. That is how this idea was born and we will see how it turns out. So I have all of my pieces cut out. And there is a fold line here on this pocket piece. And this is where I want the black to go up to the fold line. So I added a quarter inch down here on the bottom so that I can fold the bottom up to have like a clean finish. So what I'm gonna start out doing is tracing the pocket piece. And I'm just gonna trace it from the top of the pattern down to the quarter inch mark. And then I'm gonna cut it out. And this is gonna be my pattern piece that I will use to cut out the portion that I want to add to the top of the pocket. Now that I have the pieces cut out, I am going to take the right side. This is the faux leather looking side. And what I wanna do is essentially make this like one finished piece. But before I do that, I do wanna fold up the bottom edge a quarter inch. And I'm just gonna use some wonder tape or wash away tape and I'm going to stick it down here. I guess I could do it now. Just stick it down on the edge. OK, 
peel this up. And then I'm going to fold this edge in so that it will have like a finished look on the bottom. Okay, so I actually went ahead and folded in the other side. So you want both sides or both edges to be finished. There is a fold line that I shared on the pattern and I just put snips on the side of my fabric to indicate where the fold line should be. So what this is gonna end up looking like is you're gonna have your pocket finished with the top edge, something like this. This little trim piece will be along this folded edge and it will be finished at the top and finished at the bottom. So what you wanna do is take your trim and where that fold snip is for the fold line, you wanna make sure your trim is lined up there on one edge and lined up on the other edge. And then you want to tape it down or hold it down some type of way. And then just go ahead and stitch the trim onto the pocket and stitch it at the top and also stitch it along the bottom. Then what's going to happen is at that point, you'll be able to follow the pattern directions for how to construct the pocket. And so your trim will be tucked inside as you are sewing the pocket the way that the pattern explains. And then everything will be the same in the pattern, except when you flip it over, you'll have your trim piece attached to the top. Okay. So this is how it looks all sewn down. And I decided to just sew on the edges too, just to make sure that this piece was fully attached. So I have one down and now I just need to do the other piece. was able to finish the cardigan and I cannot wait to share with you what it looks like on and after I made the cardigan I made another pattern it's a simplicity pattern so I will share that with you also I am actually on my way out of town at the moment and once I get to my destination and get in my room I'm gonna pull out these patterns and show you what they look like on to my room safe and sound so let me share with you the finished look of the cardigan I did make an extra small and I really like the way that the black buttons look with the faux leather trim around the pocket There are gathers that you have to put in the wrist area before you sew the sleeve band on. And the sleeve band is actually fairly long. So for me to wear it comfortably, I have to fold the band inside in order for it to you know, hang properly on my wrist because it is really long. So if I ever make this again, I will definitely adjust the length of the hem band on the sleeve. Now, if you look at the pattern, it looks like view C, which is the one that I made, is the same length as view B, but it isn't. So 
view C is about six inches shorter than view B. I thought they were the same length, but they're not. And on the back of the envelope, it does show a significant difference be between the length of view B and C. So the next pattern that I made is Simplicity 8702. This pattern has been out since 2018, I believe, and I just recently picked it up because when I was looking through the Simplicity catalog in the store, I noticed that there is another view for these pants that is not shown on the front of the envelope. The pants for view B are very interesting. So I thought I would give them a try. It shows what they would look like in the bag. And the front looks pretty much the same as the back, but I was just so intrigued by this view. It has like a drop crotch, and I thought I would just make it up to see what it looked like. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not, but I thought the curiosity is getting to me, so I wanna make these up. The pants have a zipper at the ankle, there are buttonholes that are sewn into the waistband area where you thread cording through to make a tie. I purchased some sweatshirt knit from Joanne Fabrics and then the ribbing for the waistband I also found at Joanne Fabrics and they just so happened to match pretty well. So I paired the two together. So yes, I'm glad I made the pants and got a chance to see what they actually look like made up. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. So if you ever wanted to add a link to your Instagram story, now you can do so. You no longer have to have 10,000 followers in order to add a link to your story. Now anyone can post a link sticker to their Instagram story.